We're getting a rare look inside the home of a hoarder, and we're going to hear firsthand why they had more than 50 cats and lots of other things crammed inside this home in Valrico. And we want to warn you, parts of the story are somewhat graphic. Fox 13's Lloyd Sowers went inside, and Lloyd, really amazing that people have been living there for a long time. Yeah, living there for years with no air conditioning, no hot water, not calling a repairman because they were living with dozens of cats, some of which died, and they kept their bodies right there in the home. From the street, it looks like any normal home, but that changes quickly when you step inside. The amount of cats they're shooting, they're spraying up on the, everything on the side of the wall. The furniture is torn apart by claws. The floor is saturated with cat urine. And authorities say they've removed the 63 cats from the freezer. The truth is, I ran out of room in the backyard to bury them, didn't know what else to do with them. I'll put them in the freezer. 66 year old John Ellis and his 70 year old partner Cheryl Smith say they cared for all of their dozens of cats that were taken by animal control. They acted like that they were not fed enough, and that's not true. Not true. Not all. They ate before we did. Saturated with, with urine. Now, code enforcement is working with Aaron Slatterly on the extensive cleanup. Everything. We're taking everything down to the concrete slab. Slattery works for the decontamination company Spalding Decon. Every year they select a hardship case to clean up for free. Do you all feel that you fit the definition of hoarders? No, no not know. really. With the cats, I was. The cats that lived with them and the ones that died, they say, of natural causes stored in the freezer were a secret. A lot of hoarders, they don't allow people in their homes. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the AC goes out or the water goes out and they don't do anything about it. Seldom leaving their home that was saturated by cat waste. I knew that the ammonia in the carpet would eventually not only kill them, it's going to kill us. They seem ready to be released from where they live. Absolute God, Sam. We're just thrilled. On the condition laid down by the county that the home that was filled with cats, both alive and dead, won't be home to cats anymore. Now, Hillsborough County Code Enforcement and Animal Control are watching carefully here to see that they uphold their agreement not to have cats. The cleanup starts Monday. The, the couple will be staying in a motel in the meantime. They'll have that cleanup done before Christmas. Chris? Quite a story. Yeah.